this video from Sam Forest Hill. We're taking a look at reactivating a deactivated PLU on the ER900 series register. So if you see my previous video, I've shown you how to make a PLU inactive uh, in the programming mode by adjusting its PLU status. This video won't help you if you've done the more serious or drastic action of deleting a PLU button, so the button no longer exists. If you've done that, you need to look at my um, service mode engineer programming playlist but the likelihood is that you've had a PLU uh, made inactive because you didn't want to do overrings now you want to reactivate the button because you've got some new products to sell the process is virtually identical to how you would have re um, sorry how you would have deactivated it we're looking for the PLU status programming so if you remember if you've got access to the manual you're looking for a page that looks something like that P mode 100 subtotal PLU button, nine digit code, and then cash. As I said in my previous video, it's the nine digit code that causes the confusion. The nine digit code refers to the PLU status chart. These numbers, each of them control an aspect of how the PLU works. So PLU is preset, PLU is override price, PLU is taxable by one. You have to work out which of those apply for your buttons, make the sum, and then that gives you the um, digit to enter for that part of the code. You should end up with nine digits. For the sake of this video being under five minutes, I'm using all the default programming. So my nine digits are all gonna be zero, apart from PLU is inventory and PLU is active, which I make, of course, now actually it is gonna be zero because I'm making it active. So PLU is inactive, is no, so I'm gonna set that to zero. So my status is actually nine zeros, but obviously you need to double check in the status um, chart as to whether that's gonna be suitable for how you want your buttons to work. So the process is key to PGM, so you need the P key, key metal key marked P. You then type in 100 subtotal, which takes you to PLU status program. You then press the PLU button that you're looking to reactivate, so for me it's um, PLU21, which I've previously programmed as light ale. Um, you then enter the new status, so that for me is nine zeros, it might not be for you. In fact, this is a good example. Because I've already programmed it, if it's light ale, I have a price in it, so I want it to be preset. So PLU is preset, yes, so that is zero. PLU is preset override. I'm going to set that to, I don't want anyone to override the price, so my code is actually going to be two and then eight zeros. So let's give that a go. Once you've entered the code, whatever it is, you then press the quantity time or X time button here. Cash to save. It comes up with the status, so you hit here you can check straight away and if you've done something wrong, you'll be able to see it now. So we've got disable is set to no and preset override is set to no. So we should be able to turn the key back around to the reg mode, press PLU21 and it comes up with light AL 275. If I try and ring a pound through, it won't work. If I try and ring 10 pounds through, it won't work either because I stopped the preset override from working. Okay, hope that video has been helpful. Uh, we've got plenty more videos showing you how to get the best out of the ER900 series and other sam 4 cash registers, which you're welcome to check out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sam 4 for more. Thanks for watching.